Yo, what's up guys, it's Fabzy from the future, and let me just start off by saying I really apologise by not being able to, uh, or not uploading these episodes regularly the past uh, few days, if you will. Um, I had quite a busy week, so I wasn't able to record as much footage as I wanted to, and I also wasn't able to get on the laptop and um, render and actually upload the, the footage, so really sorry guys taking um, so long to actually get get around to bringing these episodes out for you but um, hopefully now I can try and stick to a two episodes no sorry one episode every two days schedule that's the kind of target I'm giving myself so hopefully I can stick to that and shouldn't give myself too much uh, hassle to do um, what I have what you guys are seeing on screen is um, basically where we left off from last episode where I was kind of exploring in in the is it the south sector, and I actually went and spoke spoke to that lady next to um, Sepikmon's house, the one you you saw me sp speak to earlier, and I didn't know that she would battle me, and she did battle me. And just take this as a warning, guys. She is tough. So hopefully you guys are seeing the footage now um, of how tough she was. It's was definitely the hardest fight I've had so far and it got me it had it made me use all of my all my, my my two revive discs i had just everything i could just for us to scrape a win um but it's very tough battle guys um if you be careful when talking to these people once you've got the the trophy and once you've gone to this part because more people will battle you and they're only meant to be battled later when you've got stronger digimon um, I do feel we're a little bit behind on the grind, kind of where we are at the moment. So hopefully we do catch up in the later episodes. But um, but hopefully you guys can enjoy the the, the struggle I had with uh, this old hag, and how because she she was a tough battle. I mean, luckily we do get some, we do get the win, and we do get some good experience for it. But learn from my mistakes, guys. Uh, Counter Crest also did come in clutch at times when it wasn't blocked, <laughs> but it was really good. Um, uh, yeah, and then also I went and had and I dueled with this girl in the in the is it Suzaku Suzaku City, and beating her actually gives you seven A booster packs, which are not amazing, but they're pr they're pretty good and they're the best packs that you can get by dueling at the moment. So um, if you want to grind some cards, then she's probably the best that you can duel at the moment. So. Um, also that's why it, will, it may sound a bit weird when we finally do get to kind of like the commentary because I would have been talking directly as if you hadn't seen the fight so I was, I'll just, I might just re-explain myself of what you guys have just seen so I do apologise about that but hopefully you guys enjoy the episode and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one so bye. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back, um, I was kind of wandering around for a bit, um, looked around the area, car battled a few of the guys, um, just to see what kind of packs they go, like they drop and stuff, so nothing too exciting. Um, one word of warning though, do not speak to this bitch, man, I thought I was having to car battle her, but instead you had to battle her and she is tough. She used, um, we had to use up both of our revive items that we bought um, and we just managed to scrap the win but it was a very very tough battle. Patamon unfortunately didn't survive the battle but um, Gilmon and Kumon both got 480 experience each. So very very tough battle and bear in mind that that is split so if one person was to beat them they would have gotten about um, 800 to 900 experience just on their own. Um, so definitely a battle that was meant designed to use your whole team there so a really really tricky one um, which goes to show just be careful when speaking to everyone now that we're at this point in the game the difficulty does spike but we are here now um, uh, this area where we fought the Suzaku leader guys um, I did go and retop up my items and stuff um, the only person I found that was worth battling by the way was this girl um, she's not too difficult she drops 7A boost packs which has Devimon a few other cards inside that's the only one I'd recommend battling over again so maybe off screen I might grind um, some boost packs from her so but never mind let's try not to go off topic uh, we've got here Suzaku she's gonna Oh, uh, let's just talk about Lucky Mouse, and we're going to go to visit this area, because now that we have Submerimon, we can actually proceed to the area which Renamon is protecting. Um, 
and there's a good reason why she's protecting this area in fact it might actually be a bit risky us taking this way but hey that's what we're all about and I've got to make sure there are at least some exciting things that have occurred in this episode this episode might be a bit longer because I'm not sure how it's uh, <laughs> how it's going to be broken up I'm afraid oh, duh. let me get into a battle straight away off the bat um, and do be careful guys when taking these trips especially when you get to this point in the game where oh, I don't know why I did the normal attack there do we one shot? oh nice Kill one. that might have been a critter um, what was I saying? Yeah, you, ju you do have to be careful when you get to this point of the game because there's a lot of difference between different enemies and different tamers and stuff. So you do have to be careful if you kind of go into a battle unprepared, you haven't got your items and stuff, then, you know, we're quite well off in terms of money now. So I literally spent about 25k um, buying, I think I bought about 20 revives <laughs> just in case and uh, just a few more heals. But we want to go this this area through here as well, and oh. okay, uh, we want to go here because it's going to take you to the Suzaku, the Suzaku Underground Lake. <clears throat> uh, yeah, kind of a, a bit of a hidden area here some tough enemies that we can find here so we do have to be careful um, I believe there's some items that we can find around here as well so we just have to look around for that keep our eyes open do 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 um, is that up here yeah we've got a nice item over here we've got a crossbow which is pretty cool I'm not sure who does that can go for but you know here's what it is but then we also have Kukimon here. So this is Coltimon's um, ultimate. Uh, I'm not sure if we're ready for this, but why not? Hey, you there. What do you want? Really cool design. Really like this Digimon. Hey, Kukimon. Can I ask you for a favor? I need your DNA. You know, I've been walking around collecting everyone's DNA. So yeah, sure. One condition. Fight me and you have to win. So here we go. Bit of a boss battle here. Man, these graphics don't do it justice. He's like a shrimp with like dual blades. Really cool. <laughs> it's gonna be very fast, so we might be in trouble here if we're not doing enough damage. But we hit quite a bit of damage. He does blade twister, which can be very sucky. We need to hope that we get a few evades here, because I think this hits twice. Oh nice, maybe three times. Uh, but we did uh, we did block one, so minimizes the damage. Do go again. Uh, let's see if we can hopefully get a nice attack in again. Do we put it down to red? We do put him down to red, so he's quick. Oh, we need a block, otherwise we might die here. He's quick, but we are able to dish out quite a bit of damage. This might be the end of Gilmore. Come on, that really, really does suck, to be honest. Um, we are gonna go with uh, with Great Bleemon here, just because Kumon needs all the experience he can get. Metal Man, Man, you as a soldier, good job, my son. But we're just gonna hammer rush him to finish it off. So, as you can see, guys, as long as you've trained up your Digimon a little bit. So remember, I haven't even done any kind of too much gym training for them, um, and the equipment is okay. As you can see, we are able to handle Kukumon quite well. Uh, but that's 280 experience off Kukumon, which is good. Uh, Gilmon did pick up a level, by the way, so everyone's at level 22 now. So, so these battles are quite straightforward. Not too difficult. As long as you got everyone above the level 20s, at least. Uh, Woohoo! I won! Now give me that DNA! Uh, it was the most fun I've had in a while. Here, take this. And she she gives us the Coltimon D DNA, which means we can now get Coltimon as a partner. All right, cool. Um, and I think, guys, I think we're gonna call that an episode. Um, What's up, guys? It's Fabzy again. Um, yeah, just ignore what I was just saying earlier. Um, 
basically my recordings were a bit messed up so i thought that this was the end of an episode but it's actually included in another episode just because the timings when i was recording was a bit messed up so um this was just me wrapping it up but what we're going to do is actually just um link it to the what i believed was the next episode but we're just keeping it in the same episode so if that's cool with you guys we're going to carry on so see you in the next part okay what's up guys and i'm back here for another episode we're episode uh what are we 10 11 not sure, but we are going to carry on progressing forward. Uh, last episode, we we became the champion duelist in Asuka server, basically. Well, the first round, anyways. Um, and then they all suddenly got super buffed and we had to flee on out. Um, and we took on a couple of the DRI agents kind of side quests. We're going to do the last one that we need to do for now, uh, which is the Renamon one. You need to come here to the Oasis. I didn't do anything much off screen. I just kind of grinded a little bit of the the girl that drops the seven the seven A booster pack in the Suzaku City kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, then I made my way here. Really, I only grabbed a few. The seven A pack is okay. It gives you I think it's got a chance for Devimon, chance for Greymon, which are two good cards, but it's a low chance. So maybe you don't want to waste your time with that too much. But we're here now. Um, uh, Gilmon has progressed quite well, so eventually we will be taking him out from the front. But for now we'll keep him, because we are about to get into a battle, I believe. I believe she's somewhere here. <laughs> just need to find her. Uh, let's just take out Moment from one. Uh, Metal Manmon did learn his signature move, which is Energetic Bar. Which is really strong, I believe it does more damage than Mechanical Bash. It does um, consume quite a lot of MP though. But whenever we need to do that big burst of damage, we now have this. Uh, which is going to be really, really strong for the up and coming boss battles. Especially how um, Gilmon's definitely got a very high attack stat. So that's cool. We also unlocked a new Digivolution as well, which you guys will see later. But for now, we are looking for Talmon. Fortunately, I don't know her exact location. I just, I know it's somewhere around here. Is it up or down? I feel like it's down. Let's check down here. Are you here, Talmon? There you are. So this Talmon. Um. So yeah. So let's go. Let's not waste time. Okay. Let's get into a battle. <laughs> yeah. So you just need. We just need to beat her to uh, to finish that kind of side quest. Obviously, well, to actually finish it, we need to go back and speak to the agent, which we will do because we're always going to be next to Super C. Anyways. But because we need to go to Mirage Tower, I thought it was good for us to go get all the other agents. Um, so we can just kind of go around and speak to them again. Uh, but yeah, so this is where you find her, North Badlands West. If you come and speak to her in this corner. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, Kiri Kiri Kosowako. She's praying, I think. Who's intruding my training? Oh, training? I thought she was meditating at least. Hey, Talmon, I've got a favor to ask. Can I get Renamon's DDNA within your DDNA? Yes, but not for free. Let's see if you're qualified. It'd be really interesting if people gave us some mini games and stuff, but we're good for battles, you know. We'll take the XP. Talmon, uh, much smaller ultimate than some of the others, but now that we have Energetic Bomb, I feel that this is gonna, it's gonna do a lot of hurt. I love it. Uh, Metal Manmon is just, it's got such a, you know. Special place in my heart, especially after DW1. And we actually one shot Town 1. Um, I think that's because that does a bit of metal damage, and Town 1 actually has low um, metal tolerance. So pff, there you go, GG's Town 1. Nice, nice and insane. What a great way to, to start the fight. <laughs> Normally, um, she can be a bit tougher than that, guys, so do, do come prepared. Um, we still haven't loaded Mechanical Bash, which is actually. It is annoying, and I'm starting to think that we have to get to level 99 to to load it. But you know, it is what it is. I went against Talmon. I see you're you're better than I thought. Here, take this with you. Okay, so we got the DNA. Cool, and that is all the side quests. Well, all the DRI side quests that we can do for now. Uh, so we can we can move on out. I feel like I should replace him for now but I kind of want to just keep him just to grind out that level 99 you know want to get that mechanical bash we get a level up almost every single battle almost every single battle 
So it's not too bad, you know. You just need about 99, 99 fights. Sounds a bit crazy, but it's doable. It's doable. You know, as you're kind of... Jesus Christ! <laughs> as you can see, as you're just kind of moving around, you just get into battles. Remember when we struggled with these guys? Not anymore. Definitely, guys, when you can, when you get to this area, definitely look to get to level um, into the level 20s because they, you know, that they can hit hard. So, but I think we are at a nice stage now. We are starting to, we're starting to hold our own. We got a nice strength going on. Patamon still slightly underwhelming. I feel we'll only really get stronger once we get closer to the. The kind of the mega levels so for now Patamon just kind of has to grind on by I probably will throw Patamon on some training off screen for a bit or what if we're gonna if we grind card mons or something at some point we'll throw Patamon in it's just that just for um, kind of speed sake we're getting into a lot of battles here jeez what is up with the encounter rate seriously <laughs> I know I wanted to, to level up Metal Mammon one, but this is just too much. <laughs> uh, the good thing about this game as well, un unless you're Kumamon, you actually do get a decent amount of MP. Um, so don't be afraid of wasting MP, honestly guys. you Nice, Gilmon. This is good as well because we're able to raise Gilmon. Gilmon's level quite high. And we want that because, you know, so we don't have to worry about it next time, later. Gilmon's lovely though. I really like him. He's cool. But yeah, um So, we'll probably get him to about 25. Um cuz I still want to use War Ground one. Gilmon's leveling up too quick. That's the I guess it's good and it's bad. The problem with Gilmon leveling up too quick is that you feel you don't really get um much opportunity. I should have probably saved it, but much opportunity to level up his digivolutions. You know, because as he's kind of leveling up, his stats are growing, then he's unlocking new digivolutions and stuff. And, you know, I want to be using, I want to be using, you know, your Metal Mammy Mons, your Wall Ground Mons and everything to learn their moves. But I feel like I barely get any time to do so because we're, we're just leveling up so quickly. Like I said, we've already unlocked a new Digivolution for, um, <clears throat> for Gilmon, which we should probably stick on because it's the strongest one. Um, but I want to level up War Ground one first, so <laughs> I'll probably take out Ground one. Can load Mechanical Bash. Hallelujah. Level 80, guys. That is what you aim for. And we got Spiderweb for our troubles. Fantastic. Um, I probably will swap him now. Um, but let's just get to where we need to go first. And just to save up time, guys, I'm not going to do what I did last time. I will actually use a map. I am going to recommend doing the same. Uh, just because, you know, fuck Mobius does it. <laughs> I'm not going to speak to you. We don't need to speak to you. All right, let's go. So we've got to we've got to speak to um, a few of them. So let's see. So this is we need to go this way. Um, let's just have a look. Sorry, guys. I'm just this is the Kumon run, right? Oh no, it's Kotamon. Thanks. I'll give you Kotamon. So uh, go to Pixmon. Nice, nice, nice. So that's cool. Now we need to go. Let's have a look. Now we need to go down this way. This is if you've got my team. I think this is the right way. So we've gone down. And then we need to just we need to just keep going left. Uh, we go left once. Do do do. I'm gonna go left again. Then one more time. Should take us to where we need to be. Uh oh. How are you going first? Oh, please don't put us to sleep. Please, please, please. I really should buy more items that recover sleep. Oh, 
feels bad, man. All right, fine. Let's get uh, let's get Angel Woman on the scene. Why not? We haven't really seen her, have we? There you go. There's Angel Woman in all her glory. All you need to do is not fall asleep, Angel Woman. Please don't fall asleep. <laughs> all right, nice. She took that quite nicely. Do we have Mega Tornado here? I'm hoping to do some damage with Mega Tornado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's decent damage. We're fast enough to keep on going as well, so... Good. I like the animation for it. Looks super cool. Okay, it's red. I mean, it will really get cucked over if we fall asleep here. <laughs> the thing is, it kind of forces you to do... to like tag out or something Gilmon's awake so that's pretty cool so they can kind of wake up um, even though they're tagged out so let's go air blast nice so this is alright doing like some tags in here because this does give um, experience to Patamon and Angel Woman as well and we do need to grind up Angel Woman um, so we will be doing that at some point but let's carry on we're going left we're still going on left. Do, 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 do. And then I believe this is where we need to be. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. I forgot actually. We were actually meant to swap out. Uh, we were actually meant to swap. Um, I'm just going to energetic bomb Vadamon here. Because we don't give a shit. <laughs> We were meant to swap out Gilmon anyways. Sorry guys, I did forget that. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Uh, okay, cool. Let me... Nice experience. Good, 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 good. Right, what I'll do here then, guys. I will quickly swap Gilmon out. Okay, guys, we're back. Got Patmon at the front. Uh, we should be in the right place here. I think we speak to him. Hey, thanks. You really got it. Okay, and we have Monmon. So the only person that we need to speak to now is Renamon, but that's the one back in Asuka City. So we're not going to do that just yet. So we're going to go back to Mirage Tower. And the way you get back to Mirage Tower from here is you head on down. Again, guys, I've got a map to reference. And I will highly recommend you do the same. Because, you know, fuck Mobius Desert. Take a right and then up. We're going to go up, which leads us to Mirage Tower, I believe. Boom, boom, boom. Mirage Tower. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, we've got a battle we've got to do here. I don't know if you guys um, remember, but we was actually told to go to Mirage Hall or Mirage Tower to fight the real third leader. So this is going to be the real leader here. Um, so, and I think these guys, they kind of battle you. I see with Weapon X properties. I am collecting Digimon battle, battle data and analyzing it. Cool, we don't want to fight him just yet. Numon got us going out ground. So, yeah, so everyone's just talking about Numon and stuff. Um, I'm just going to quickly save everybody. And then we're going to go take on the leader. We are going to try Patamon at the front. Could be suicide, but we will see. Go, Gadramon. Save my progress, please. Spirit bomb. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, let's go and let's see how we do. Um, I mean, putting Pam on the front is it's a bit risque. Uh, but I think we are okay. We got her as Angel Woman. And yeah, let's go. Here we go. So this is... Well, let's see who it is. Hmm. Who are you? I'm sorry, but leave me alone. Byaku leader, I have something to ask you. Because you found me already? Fine, then I'll just have to fight you. What? Hey, wait a sec, what's the... Silence, I'm not going to lose to the AOA. AOA? Isn't that the terrier scoop? Don't play games with me. Come here, my Digimon. I can't believe this. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, let's get this over with already. I mean, I suppose we have to fight him anyways. But he obviously thinks that we're someone else. And he's going all guns blazing. So we're quite lucky we have Flyme on here. Because um, I believe wind attacks do heavy damage on flying types. So 
let's hope that that's what happens because we don't want uh, we don't want Angel Woman to be useless in this battle. Uh, that's good damage, very good damage. I'm hoping that we can we can uh, minimize the amount of damage we take here. Okay, that's not too bad. I think we can we can live with that. Mega Tornado. Let's keep it going. So three of these. So as you can see, you know, Angel Woman's not being completely useless. She's fighting her corner here. Flamon's pretty quick, so yeah. I would have been I would have been surprised if we managed to get actually Flamon might actually get a double attack here, which could be could be bad. Um uh, do we wanna heal? I feel like we should heal. Um I'm gonna heal. I probably should have done the small hill, but oh well. Let's just supercharge for now. Small hill might have been enough, but uh, let's hope we can block this. Nope. But at least this is, as long as he doesn't get a crit, we should be in a healthy position to to kind of welcome whatever's coming in next. So let's just take on, take Flymon out. Good job. Let's see who's next. I don't actually remember his team, so Tortomon, mm, interesting. So I'm hoping that okay, I'm hoping that he's um, he's quite a defensive Digimon because if that's the case, then we might have just played him. Because uh, I'm actually gonna do a small heal here, just to kind of level us up, um, top us up. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping he has high defense. So maybe if we was using a physical attacker, then we wouldn't actually be doing so well but Patamon here has good wisdom um, and also good spirit so we're able we should hopefully do a lot of damage here so let's see let's see how it does so not as much <laughs> not as much this is probably gonna hit hard let's see I mean I hope he just kept on doing all okay it's not that bad I mean it's doable it's definitely a winnable fight we have it under control, I mean, especially how Angel Woman can keep herself topped up with heals as well. I mean, we're doing decent damage if we can pull off a few of the crits and stuff. I mean, this is he does almost 400 damage in each attack here, so that is a bit risky. His Divine Reigns, though, are laughable. Uh, we can keep up the small heals. Let's see how much a small heal does. Does it top us up? Uh, almost tops us up, which is pretty good. And we actually get the double attack. So yeah, Andrew, when she's got this, it's really good, man. She's pulling her weight. You know, like I said like the other day, we was talking, we was talking shit about Patamon in general. <laughs> but she, you know, Andrew Wom's here, and she's, you know, she's she's playing her part. <clears throat> she's doing her part. And to be fair, I never really gave them credit in my other playthroughs. I didn't really use them at all. Nice, we get the crit there. Divine Rain, yeah, you can keep on doing that, buddy. We'll take that all day. Um, I'm hoping that we get a double attack soon. Maybe maybe this is the time we get a double attack. If we do, then we can use that opportunity to heal. Um, nice, come the red. Divine Reigns, actually very good. I feel like we might get a double attack this turn. Uh, but just in case, because he can actually kill us with a crit here. Just in case, I'm just going to heal up. Should top us up back to full. <clears throat> yeah, so if we want to be smart, we could actually wait for a double attack. So I think that there's a bit of a pattern here, and we're getting double attacks kind of every two rounds. Um, <clears throat> I might be wrong; could be overthinking this, but so. But I think um, I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go for it. So what I could do, I could have just waited until the double attack. Because if we did get a double attack, I believe. When I kill him here, I would actually get my second attack the next round, regardless of speed. But, oh dear, no. Not Mamemon. Now I remember this fight is atrocious. Mamemon is extremely tough and super annoying because his normal attack deals heavy damage and it has a chance to freeze you. Oh no. Um, let's see how much Mega Tornado does. I honestly don't think Andrew Woman's going to last for too long. I mean, that's respectable damage, to be honest. Shit. 
Damn, he didn't do that much damage last time. Well done, Andrew Mon. Good fight, good fight. Well done. We're going to bring on um, Great Blue Mon here. Hopefully, we can pull off some counters even when we're frozen. But we do have to be careful because he can be dangerous. Because when you're frozen, you can't use items or anything. Okay, so he blocked one. But let's see. Let's see how we do for damage. We're doing decent. We're doing decent for damage. Andrew Woman definitely put in a good shift for damage there. Damn, man. Be careful with this guy. Jesus Christ. And it procs so... Look, we would have gotten two attacks there. It procs so often as well. Guys, if I remembered, I would have... Oh, damn. What I'd recommend is to grab... I'm going to keep on pushing. I should have healed. Um, grab an item that makes it less likely to become frozen in this battle because man he he is an annoying idiot oh dear come on give us another another opportunity to battle he just freezes us each time uh luckily it's just random really just think of like you know confusion on in pokemon or in fact just think of par paralysis um but to the point where you can't even do anything you can't you can't switch, you can't do anything. So if we get bad RNG here, he can technically just wipe us out. Come on, come on, come on. Jeez, I'm, gonna, I I'm guessing because we're frozen, we actually can't proc any counters. Or we've just been really unlucky. Um, I kind of want to heal. I kind of want to revive um, Andrew Mon here. If my one survives. <laughs> oh, GG's. We actually got uh, a cr crits there, so we got more damage there. But well done, Mamimon can be tough. Um, it's a shame Andrew Woman doesn't get the experience there. Kumon gets the full experience there, but Andrew Woman definitely, definitely um, done really well there. Managed to get two victories and got unlucky by getting critted. So yeah, but even regardless though, that is still good experience uh, for. Kumon here and we get nice nice bits but don't worry Andrew Woman she's going to be the one at the front so we'll be seeing a lot of her uh, throughout the episode and whatnot. Oh oh I see I'm sorry for mistaking you for the AOA so literally I think what it was he got so shook that you know he knew we weren't AOA he just wanted to intimidate us and, and beat us but as soon as he saw that we smashed him he's like oh yeah yeah sorry about that yeah yeah I didn't know I didn't know and that's okay but wait does that mean the people in Byaku City are yes they're the AOA so that's who the army people are they just came and took over Byaku City we were held in the basement prison but Numamon came and rescued us I see but the AOA and Lucky Mouse and what's happening to the Digimon online there's just so much questions I don't know to be honest if you if you want to know more you got to find that Numamon if you go to the Dum Dum factory you'll find him Okay. Wait a second. I haven't given you this yet. That's right. We just beat our third leader. After all, you did beat me. And it might come in handy later on. Alright. So we just got our third badge. There will be more AOA. So be careful. Nice. So we just got our third badge, guys. Uh, pretty good battle. Um, unlucky that Andrew Woman wasn't able to solo it. I think there's some more, let me see, is there some more guys that show up here? No, maybe later. Just gotta speak to him real quick. Yeah, he's just telling me. So yeah, so what we gotta do next, we gotta go back to the factory area, Dum Dum Factory. Oh, sorry, I'm getting like hiccups. Uh, Dum Dum Factory and we gotta find that new one. New one that saved us. So, I'm just gonna rest up guys. Uh, go to do do to the end and then I'm gonna save and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do in a sec so see you in a sec guys okay guys uh, I've just rested I actually didn't save and I'm quite nervous to fight this guy but Tame and Akano he's uh, sort of like a breeder guy please fight with me and let me gather their data this is the fight that I was talking to you guys about on the early parts of the series he's only got this one to Pyramon but this from what I remember he is tough so we might struggle here, uh, but last time I said that we actually wiped the floor with them. But let's have a look. Andrew, she is a beast, so she should be okay. 
and he blocks it. Okay, GG's. Let's see how much damage he does. He could wipe us. If he does, then I'm going to cry. Jesus Christ. Good thing is, though, he has given us a nice and lovely blast gauge. Uh, so we're just going to carry on. What the... Oh, my God. Come on, not like this. Um, as long as he doesn't get a crit, we're okay. But he is doing 600 and he's faster than us, so he's getting double attacks. This is what I mean, guys. This is why whenever I see these kind of guys, I panic so much. Oh, dear. Um, we're going to go... We're going to go to Metal Man 1 here. Um... Just so we can put some damage on him, to be honest. Um, I mean, he's got he's quite fast, so I'm hoping that we can uh, we can get a few attacks off. Please do a lot of damage, please, please, please. All right, the attack connected. Let's see how well it does. Whoo! We almost one shot, which is good. <laughs> Bear in mind that guys, that Gilmon's attack is extremely high. Whoa! <laughs> I blasted straight away. Man, wait, 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 that's a treat. But there you go, guys. This is what happens. I don't know if this has happened before, but this is what happens when you fill up the blast meter. You automatically dish off to your next um, kind of line. Our next line is obviously Gallantmon. So we've got, uh, yeah, <laughs> we got Gallantmon. But what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to use one of my life discs and we're going to uh, pick them on up just so we can actually uh, use it the good thing about life this by the way guys is it revives anyone who's dead so usually try and use your revive discs as a last resort um, damn. so he we do have final purification here but it is a counter attack and we don't actually want him to hit us so I'm just gonna go for the metal attack here man I mean I can just literally step on him he should die <laughs> Either way, we still somehow get the victory there. Don't know how, but whatever. <laughs> um, and at least that way, Patamon gets 123 experience, which is nice and respectable and 820 bits. But be careful with that guy, guys. Uh, he he can be a pain. <laughs> so just watch out for him. Um, I think you can only fight him once you've beaten the Byaku leader. So be careful. But yeah, guys, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys, you want to make your way towards Dum Dum Factory now? So much. So, <clears throat> sorry guys, keep getting distracted. But yeah, so guys, you've got to make your way towards Dum Dum Factory. So that's back to where the Oasis is and whatnot. Um, and then we will carry on with the story. I think we'll see. We we'll see how it goes. We've got Angel Woman here, who's going to be able to. Ooh, I wonder if that's a crit. I don't think it was. I mean, I think it was. Sorry. Because uh, last time it was, uh, I believe we did less damage than that. I'm sure we did. Um, it does suck though when we do fall asleep. Um, but I believe we do have a TNT ball. We do have a TNT ball here. So I think we can just throw this at him and still get a victory. <laughs> I wish we could just buy a bunch of TNT balls to be honest. Because <laughs> I guess in moments like that it's quite interesting. Did learn Divine Rain. Uh, I don't think that does more damage than... Uh, the Mega Tornado, but it's there for anyone who, if we do come up against some fire types, uh, the Vine Rain is going to be useful. Um, and we just want to, we just want to go this way, guys, to get to. You want to go this way? I'm not even looking at a map to be honest. This is just memory now, right now. Uh, so we went down, 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 down. and now we want to go. We're going to go down twice. Do, do, do. You're going to go down twice and then we can exit here. Yep. And we should be out, I believe. Nice. Lovely. You gonna say anything? Dum Dum Fairies beyond the Bullet Valley, so cool. So it's good to speak to the Digimon around the kind of map because they're gonna kind of they're gonna give you information on how to do it. Kokotarimon, um, we should be able to deal with you. 
So yeah, so Divine Rain, I mean, it does, it's the same amount of MP. But let's try it. Let's try, let's see how much damage we do, Divine Rain. I mean, it's the same animation, if not, but I guess when it hits, it shows the kind of rain particles, which is cool. 220. No, no, don't flee. Ah. <laughs> I don't think it does as much. That's, I don't know, from what I've, from what I remember anyways. So you want to stick to Mega Tornado. Reason why you want to level up Angel Mon though is that she does learn some really cool stuff. So we definitely we I believe she gets a good digivolution. So you want to level her up as high as we can. Magna Angemon, I'm afraid, doesn't learn anything too exciting to be honest. I think one of his last moves might be good, but it just takes too long. Um, Insect Digimon is weak to wind, so. Uh, R.I.P. Oh, damn. Why is it whenever I just, you know, I throw shade on Digimon that they just suddenly become Hulk? Uh, should be cool. Anyways, no, luckily, um, Patamon gets a whole bunch of MP, so we're able to just freely spam these attacks. So We just need to find a, a train or something that has just all bug types and just set Patamon on. Uh, now that we have beaten the Biaku leader, though, there are some things that we do need to do. But for now, for now, I'm going to carry on. I just want to see, is it going to, oh, does it let me go back to the sea? I can't remember if it does. I want to see. I'm just going to see if it lets me go back to the city. I don't think they'll recognize us <laughs> since we're meant to be one of the, one of the prisoners. Oh. Hey there. Huh? I think something just moved. Hey, can you see something from there? No problems in the west. Nothing in the south. Nothing wrong here either. <laughs> They're blind as fuck. They're under watch. I won't be able to enter Biaku City for a while. There you go, guys. Abiyaku City is run over by the AOA, if you remember from the start of the game. AOA were the digital terrorists. Um, so, um, terrorists, basically. They have obviously come into Digimon Online. And we don't know what they're doing, but... I'm assuming that the fact that the, it's undergoing constant maintenance has something to do with it. We're going to go here. We're going to try Divine Rain. Let's see, 160 is awful. Let's see how it's going. Let me see. Mega tornado now. Let's see the difference. So yeah, as you can see, mega tornado is doing more is more damage really. Edgemon's actually a really good um, Digimon to fight against because, I mean, they give you decent, obviously, experience and money, but it actually has a chance to drop, um, is it Magician's Rod? And um, and they sell for, like, 1,500 bits, so really good for making money. But we don't really need that because you kind of, you get a good amount of money as you kind of gradually grind, or as you gradually go through the game, the game should I say. Um... We've got Pouch Oasis here. Uh, let's just quickly rest up. Alright. Lisa's still here. How you doing, girl? You're just going to stay in this corner for the whole rest of your life? Jesus. Alright. Cool. <laughs> and I'm going to go towards the Dum Dum factory. I'm going to show you guys where to go in case. You have forgotten. Mm -mm. Alright. Uh, interesting. How are we going to take on these guys? I think these guys are going to be a bit tougher to handle. Jesus. 
we definitely need to buff up our speed and whatnot. Let's try Divine Rain. Wow. I guess Divine Rain may be the way to go for some enemies. Definitely was able to take out Mammoth Mom with that, so yes, nice. Can't wait until we learn um, some better moves, though. They really are strong once you once you get the really strong ones. Mega Tornado obviously is the best best we can do for now. Okay. Um, guys, um, I'm actually going to call it here. Just I know it's, it's a super short episode compared to the other ones I've done. But it's just because um, I actually have to head on out now. So I kind of have to stop the recording. Um, and just to make things a bit easier, I'm just going to keep this as one episode. But from when we pick up, we'll, be, we'll pretty much carry on from where we left off. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Maybe you prefer the short episodes. Keep it, mix it up. Keep it nice and sweet. Um... But yeah, so we're going to carry on with the story. Uh, it's definitely getting a bit more interesting. We've already got our third out of fourth badges. So we're making some really, really good progress. And our Digimons, they're looking pretty, pretty cool. And we've pretty much, we've almost unlocked all the Digimons so far. So guys, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Shine is on my diamond. 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 Shine is on my diamond.